and welcome for this new vlog. I'm literally in the underground at Oxford Street and there's no one. So I was fencing during the intro there. We're basically going to the Disney store and yeah, so I'll do another intro in a second, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to enjoy that. We are here for a Disney trip. So I've already said hello. Welcome for that new vlog sort of. So it's spooky Halloween season. Let's see what they have. And honestly, that looks good. Can we talk about this? This is great. It's like a spooky tour. So you have your usual Halloween stuff. I really like those, but they're freaking expensive. You have some Jack Skeleton things here. A lot of things for kids. Oh, that is cute. That is really cute. Why are they considering that? Why is there no price on anything? It's quite cool. We have some, again, I remember for Christmas. Some Hocus Pocus, because the second movie came out. I like the pin. Quite cute. Look at this. I think it's a little lounge fly. Oh, it's a Disney. 72 quid. Jesus Christ. You have some costumes here. Kids. And more villainous and hocus pocus stuff. Oh, no, it's just hocus pocus. There's pinks. Nice. Very nice. With a cocoa orange as well. Look how pretty it is. Love the mag, considering the mag. It's a very underrated movie, in my opinion. Look at that tray. Yeah, and the mag. It's just gorgeous. We also have a Haunted Mansion slash Phantom Manor um, selection on fly, which is actually very niche. Very cool. How much is that? 72 quid. Not that bad, in my opinion. That is cool as well, like the wallpaper. Look at this, Madame Leota. Lovely. Have that range of the skeleton dress. I don't know if you can hear me. Music is really loud. I don't know what to think about that skeleton range. Spooky and probably. I don't know. Tell me what you think. The comment below. Then you have the also famous munchkin. Munchkins. Oh, I'm like playing in the munchkins. Quite cute. I don't know if I'm tempted by one or not. We'll see because at the end of that video there'll be a hole. So we'll see. But they're quite cute. But there is the home range for the whole stage situation. Stage is not my favorite, so I was curious about that though. I'm from the south of France. So Mini and Provence Provence is really cool and niche. So I kind of enjoy that. I will not buy anything, but it's quite cute. And look at that. <laughs> they have the dispensers here. And they are 12 pounds. 
I don't know actually what is the scent. No idea. But if you wanted one, you know they have some. They have some decorations on sale. The Winnie the Pooh that we know as well. Have some orange bird things. Actually, that wasn't there the last time I came. Wow, that's heavy. Is that a plant pot? I think so, because it's quite heavy. You won't bring it up. That's Hercules. New range. If there's any fans out there, quite cute, I have to say. That lounge fly is quite cool, though. Mm. And a random toy left here as well. So, yeah, quite cool. Then here you have your um, Nuimos in buying to the trend. And the small. Um, plushy thing. So those are new emos. Those are the small ones. If it makes sense. Came out with the Christmas collection. Again, once again, sorry if um, the music is loud. But they have quite cute ornaments, but I'm not in the, to the Christmas spirit, so. And it's a Halloween um, vlog. Shopping Let's not get into Christmas, please. Not Let's look at the ornament that I don't want to talk about now. So cool. Look at that skeleton. They're so so cool. The head from I guess Haunted Mansion mansion. This is Leota and the castle. Nothing to do with Halloween. I have so many things now. Look at that. So cool. Green one. One boxes. So cool, not that new mugs. And if you wanted to look at the other mugs, there we go. Ears, what do we have? An Epcot one. There is that doesn't make sense by any because I'm not going to Florida anytime soon. But those are so cute. Some Encanto one. Little Mermaid. What do we have here? Some sort of selection here. Just saying. An Encanto, an Encanto situation happening here. Which is quite cool. Go down the castle and try not to die. Usually it's more kids orientated downstairs, but you never know what we're gonna find. So costume. Woody, hello. Buzz, hello. <laughs> It's actually very cute. Avengers. A lot of sets of small figures, which are quite cool. Hello, Rapunzel. Nice to see ya. Avengers. Oh, that mini is quite cool. That. How much is that? 35. She's so cool. Yep. So, so cool. The Geographic, National Geographic gear. Oh, they're playing domain, the 101 donations. Some night dress and stuff. Dolls, a lot of dolls, just a lot of dolls again. The Moana Missionary, nothing. Oh, that's cute. Nothing really that blows my mind. That blows my stationary mind. Blind, blind mind. <laughs> Animal dog range. I hear they came up with this for Halloween, which is a cocoa themed set of three toys. It's quite cool. Plushies. Does anyone like me think that 
Turning Red has been underrated because I love that movie. That was so cool. Oh, Doug, you're on your own. Oh, and you're on sale. Oh. I'm sort of done with my tour. I'm gonna go back to the Halloween stuff, but Doug might come home with me. But yeah, my mind is not blown, although there's kind of, I should have come last week, but I had no time. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna take the fifth. But yeah, it's not too busy, which is good. So I came at the right time. But um, yeah, not much to grab, unfortunately. Again, I'll show you at the end of the video, but um, if you are going here, if you're coming here often, the real knows that lift is impossible. Just saying. The walls are quite cool. I think I'm gonna go and pay now. Right, I've left the Disney shop and it was quite of a successful trip, sort of. I was a bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I should have come last week, but there was a lot of repeat products, although I was happy to see the Haunted Mansion things and uh, the pumpkin stuff. But um, I got three things. And obviously, after this clip, it will be me in my living room, on my bed, going through those three things. When we're back! So, like I said, and I wasn't lying, we're gonna do a tiny haul. So, I purchased three things. Uh, if you wanna pause that video, by the way, and give me your three guesses of the things I bought, because there's a few hints during my visit at the shop. I even hold one of the things for the longest time in my hand. You can see it sometimes when I'm grabbing stuff. Anyway, so yeah, let me know, pause the video. Um, but I wanna give you my impressions first um, about the collection. If you're following me on Instagram, when I went to the Disney shop, I posted a story on Instagram, I even posted a reel, and I tell and I told you that um that was nice. I love the print of this year. Um I love it's really I, I just love a good print no matter what the season is. Um but I feel like I missed all the good bits. So I wish I went to the store like two weeks ago. So yes, there was the Mickey pumpkin, yes, there was the Mickey photo for like the thing where you put your candle there was the bowl whatever it was a lot of pumpkin things but i live in a small flat i can't you know hoard like seasonal stuff like too much i mean i'm focusing on christmas so i'm not gonna buy a giant pumpkin salad bowl or whatever to put candies so yeah that was nice but i've watched a few videos uh of other people and i feel like there was much stuff before so there was a few stuff from Hocus Pocus, from the Haunted Mansion, but not things that I desperately wanted, if it makes sense. So yeah, I ended up buying two things related to Halloween and one which actually not at all. <laughs> so yeah, I just wish that. So there wasn't much. I mean, I was more excited the last two times I went. Again, I'm not gonna lie, that didn't stop me from spending like 50 bucks <laughs> so uh but yeah it wasn't too crowded which was good but um yeah i think the focus on the in the shop was actually plushies they were having an offer which was on the left hand side when you was when you were coming in um there was a whole there was a big um munchlings um wall at the back yeah well there was a few collections for for halloween but i don't know I felt like the vibe, I missed the vibe. That's not Disney foot, that's my foot, but I mean, girl has to work. <laughs> so I missed it. But anyway, let's dig into this because I don't want that video to be a million years long. So, so the first thing I'm going to get out is the biggest thing in the bag. And if you looked at the video, I mean, if you watched the video, I mean, if you're here right now, it means that you watched before and you were probably more exciting by what happened before than me rambling right now. But anyway, um, I got Doug. <laughs> Listen, I have Sven. Sven is buried somewhere underneath that blanket. I love big plushes, but um, I have to say that my most favorite one, my all-time favorite are Pumba, Sven, and I wanted Doug, Doug for the longest time, and it was on sale for 15 quid. So that was the occasion. I'm not the only one. The young lady over here, my cat, is going to be very happy to do her nap on him. <laughs> Look at him. And if you don't know it yet, Up is my favorite Pixar of all time. I need to do a video about Pixar because, yeah. So I had to have him. He is gorgeous. 
we do look the same, right? <laughs> there is a similarity here. So I got Doug. This is not Halloween related, so let's put him out of the way. Then the other two things. Let's maybe pull out... Where is... Ah, I got scared for a second. <laughs> Because you know what, if you are um, a Londoner or someone that um, is going often in the shop, there is one of the cast members there that is actually very chatty, really good. He knows everything about Disney. He, he is a Disney fan and he has the best stories and uh, things to say when you're on Teal. But uh, I thought, oh, God, he didn't put my pin because yeah, I got a pin. So the two Halloween things I got is a mug and a pin. So the pin game in the Disney shop went one level up um they used to have a wall it's still the same wall though but the range is bigger which i appreciate a lot and by watching gary c and adam hatton um they were look or was it oh, i can't remember who i was watching you know watching too many people but they were looking at pins and i think they were in walt disney world so in florida and um they touched this one. I don't know. I can't remember Gary C. But anyway, I never thought I will have the opportunity to get it. So that's what I got. Basically, that's Chippendale. I know the obsession is real. Surreal. So I, I'm trying to see if it is this blah, blah, blah. blah. It's not... Authentic Disney pins. I think it's not a park one. I think it's another one I've seen in the video. But anyway, I wanted a Halloween related because I think Halloween is a bit special for me this year. I'm going to actually celebrate it. So I wanted something to remember that. Not Disney way, but with friends, which never happened. And I love Halloween. So I just wanted to have a pin that um, was remembering that for me. So I think it's really cute. So that's good. I got nine, nine pounds. So the cheapest rate and the other thing i got is this can we just talk about the fact that coco is a very underrated movie um it is one of the best visually uh before encanto although i think they're on the same level sort of so coco i mean this i mean this is a lot of tmi but when i watched coco for the first time um my grandma was also in not a really great state so because if you don't know coco is the name of the grandma in the movie not the actual name of the boy right um so um so yeah it was really emotional <laughs> at the time and it's a beautiful movie it's a colorful movie and i love the mexican culture overall i think it's something that is not really talked about in a lot of things so 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 yeah i feel like it's just yeah and the merch is really rare so i thought i will grab the mag it was 18 euro and you and I think the price is quite good. It was 18 pounds. So, so yeah, I don't need a mug. Let's just face it. But I had to get it. I mean, I mean, related. Don't get me wrong. It's the day of the day, the Dia de los Muertos. But you can drink out of that all year long. So that's why I like it versus more versus the um, Mickey pumpkin. So, and I prefer the shape. And I just like how it is a little dot inside I, ju I just love it i just I, I fell in love with that mug so so yeah that's my two halloween stuff and doug it's a really weird haul i'm gonna give that to you but it had to be it had to be done so yeah that's all i have to say um i will probably go back when they have more christmas stuff i touch on the christmas subject a little bit <laughs> because they already had ornaments stuff like that but i'm not in the uh, christmas mode and i'm going to disney for christmas so i'll probably try try to do a disney um another disney vlog like that uh disney shop vlog uh before i go to the parks and it's probably going to be in November because I'm on holidays. I'm going back home. So I'm probably going to have time to go to the shop anyway. I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to leave you there. And my battery is running low. And the light is running really low. So yeah, subscribe. Ring that bell. Comment below. I hope you. I hope, I hope to see some comments below about your guesses of what I got. Um, and I'll see you next time. And yeah, bye.